testing, testing, recording on my camera. Here we are. Test, test, test. <laughs> this looks so official. Test, test, test. All right, let's do this. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, hi there. You probably noticed the quality is a little bit sharper <laughs> and the background is a little bit cleaner, a little bit nicer. And forgive me if I keep looking this way because there's a monitor right there, but I have stepped up my YouTube game. <laughs> I don't know if this will be a regular thing, but I just thought I was like, mm, maybe I should give you guys some quality. One second, let me fix my hair. Okay, are we good? We're good. Okay, so today I wanted to do a makeup tutorial and I was like, I can't do my usual setup. I need something a little nicer because I want you guys to see what I see, okay? So I thought, let me just up, let me just, let me just up my YouTube game real quick and give you guys a full-on tutorial on how I do my go-to smoky eye look. If you've seen any of my other YouTube videos, you've probably already seen this makeup look because I do this look a lot. I'm telling you, this is my go-to. I've done it in this video, I've done it in that. This is a look that I find really simple to do. I feel like anybody can really do it. I wouldn't say I'm an expert or professional with makeup, but I know what looks good on me. So I'm gonna show you guys this really super easy smoky eye look that's gonna elevate your makeup game. So here we go. I've started with my base. I already have my base and my foundation ready because I felt like this video might already be a little long so I didn't wanna bore you with my base. But if you'd like a tutorial on that, please let me know. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna take this Morphe brush. It is a, I'm so new to this. It is an M173. If I miss any products, please let me know. Then I'm gonna take this palette. Don't say anything. And I'm gonna use this color right here for a transition shade. Now, I don't know if you've noticed, but I am a little brown. So this is a good transition shade for me, but for people with more fair skin or lighter skin, it may not be a good transition shade for you. I don't know if you can see that, but you can already see it's kind of smoking out the eye. So this is what I'm using to just smoke out the top part of the eye. This just helps create some dimension in the look that we're trying to achieve. Awesome. Now that we've got our transition shade, I'm gonna take this brush. This is just an, a regular e.l.f. brush that I bought in a kit. I'm not a very like high-end makeup product girly, so you're gonna see a lot of drugstore <laughs> makeup brands today, but let's keep moving. So we're gonna go back into that palette I mentioned before, and now I'm gonna use this shade, and I'm gonna prioritize it mostly above the lid, because this is also gonna create another transition for the liner. Once you see it at first, like you can see that this is really harsh, like the lines and everything. But as you keep blending, you start to get that transition. Do you see that? I don't know if you can, it's a little far away. <laughs> and I'm too scared to adjust it because it took me forever to figure out my zoom. <laughs> but I'm just gonna keep going in. Simple as that. <laughs> What am I doing? Okay, this isn't my first makeup tutorial, but I guess it's my first time. I don't know, I don't know what's getting me right now, but you can kind of already see it's making a difference. And then also don't be afraid to use your finger. Sometimes I'll just be going in and I'll blend it with my finger if I still feel like it's too harsh. I hope you can see that. I hope that looks okay. Congratulations, we already have a smoked out eye. Now let's get into liner. Okay, now here's my liner. It is a L'Oreal, what is this, Voluminous Superstar. Nice. Right here. We've created the tail of our liner. And so now we're gonna start in the corner. Okay, the liner's not bad. But with this look, you don't have to be an expert in doing winged eyeliner because what we're about to do is we're about to cover this eyeliner up with eyeshadow. So just try to get at the best wing you can. And it doesn't even matter if it's straight or if it's sharp or it looks right because I'm telling you, we're literally about to destroy it. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and do my other eye off camera. We finished both wings. And I even added a little cat eye in the corner, a little wing in the corner. 
Cute. So now we're gonna go back into that same palette and use those same two shades. We're actually gonna go in with that dark bottom shade. I'm gonna show it to you right here again. And then for this, I'm using a brush, rounded kind of like the previous brush, but it's flatter. You see? I hope you can see. And now I'm going to just tap that dark eyeshadow just a teeny bit and have it just on the tip of the brush. What we're gonna do is we're gonna just pat it on top of the liner and also just drag it up a bit. It's already kind of smoking out right here. What we're not gonna do is take it all the way where the wing is. We wanna keep the tip of the wing. And then I do this all along my lash line. Going back in with that rounded, fluffier brush. And I'm not going back into the eyeshadow, but I'm just using it to kind of just blend it out a little bit more. I don't know if you can see that, but it's already already getting a little bit more smoky. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other eye. I'm gonna pack more into this crease just right in the corner here. Blending that back out with this brush. I'm gonna put eyeliner on my lower lash line. So now that we have eyeliner on the bottom, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with that flat brush and get as close as I can to my waterline. I'm gonna actually go in with that first shade I used and pack in the color down here. I'm gonna to try to get as close as I possibly can. Sometimes go in with the fluffy brush, close my eye and just blend it out. And that really brings the smoke. Look at that. Ooh, smoke eye. Now you would think, or maybe I hope you wouldn't think this, but you would think, oh my gosh, I have this dark eye look, don't need lashes. Yes, you do. You always need lashes. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna put on some lashes. <laughs> the lashes that I'm gonna be using are Kiss. It's the Muses collection. I really love these because they're fluffy and they have a really nice curl. Is this a C curl? I can't tell. A lot of people have asked me to do an eyelash tutorial, so here it is right now, built into this video. Taking the lash, taking my eyelash glue, I use Duo, I take it and I squeeze it just to like a little bubble shows up at the top, and then I just drag that little bubble along the lash. Wait for it to dry a little bit to get tacky. You want to take your mirror, sometimes I've heard people they'll rest their mirror on their like bathroom sink or vanity uh, counter or whatever and they'll look down. I find that that's helpful or I'll just hold my mirror up and I'll tilt my head back. First I hook it on this corner and if it's tacky enough it'll stick. You see how it's on the corner but the rest is hanging off and then I just gently stick it to the rest of my eye. Oh and I like these lashes. Wow. Okay, and here we go again, hooking it on the corner, and then letting it fall along the rest of the eye. Oof, we are looking fierce, but we're not done yet. Mascara, don't forget mascara. I usually put mascara on my actual eyelashes, but what I do, because sometimes they just look too perfect, and they look too, you know, like fake eyelashes, what I do is I just bounce my mascara on the tips of the lashes. It brings out the length of the lashes and also just makes them look a little thicker and not too perfect. We cannot simply have these thick, juicy lashes on the top and not have any lashes on the bottom. So we have to put mascara on the bottom. You don't need a lot, but just some. Okay, we are done with the eyes. I'm gonna add some finishing touches and I'll be right back. And here we are, guys. Here's the final look. I added some purple highlighter, which is like my favorite thing right now. Added some lip gloss 
and then added some cute little earrings to just complete the look. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and bearing with me as I navigate through this makeup tutorial. I hope this was helpful for you. Let me know in the comments if you liked it, if you tried it, if you're gonna try it, um, and I'll see you next time. Bye!